Hi guys, I thought I'd give you a tour of our garden today. Give you a few seconds to get ready and we'll go at it. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I thought I'd bring you out and show you our garden that we've been working on the last few weeks. It's really coming along. As you can see, we got it all fenced in, protected from the chickens because they like to come in here and pick up my plants, and I don't like that. So over here, we'll start over here. This is where I have two rows of beans, and they're doing pretty good. Now they're po beans, so we got wire up. So down the, and down there, this is one of my plastic snakes. I got a bag of snakes off of eBay to keep the birds at away from my plant and it works pretty good anyway all these are green beans you can see they're doing really good here they're starting to get their little stems and I got cardboard down to help protect from weeds now we do have weed block down because personally I don't like weeding because it hurts my back to get down there and weed. So we have a lot of weed blocks, so I don't have to do a lot of weeding. Back here, we have cucumbers. I got two rows of cucumbers, and they're just like they're going everywhere. So I'm really happy with that. So we're gonna have a lot of cucumbers to make rollies and pickles and just eat them for supper with vinegar. Okay, over here, my husband's got onions. We already cut the tops tops off some of them because they were laying on the ground and um, they're doing really good I'm really surprised they really grew fast so and over on this in this fence I planted more beans and they're all coming up okay so and right there I had three extra seeds of zucchini so that was a bare spot so I said I'll just plant them there to heck with it and I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get get in real quick. There's a tiny little green plant. That's our cabbage. I've got like four of them down here and then down at the other end of the garden. I've got a couple more. See if we can grow some this year. We've never grew any. And then we got all of our tomato plants. I got 26 tomato plants planted. Got the, and they're growing really good too. Oops. And here we got pepper plants. I don't know how many we planted, but we got a whole row of them. We'll freeze those and dehydrate them for our stir fry and salads this winter. And there's another one of them snakes. They're all over the garden part here. All right, let me take you to the backyard where we got our container On this garden. side of the house here, we have containers with the plants we didn't plant out in the garden, and they're doing really good. It's um, early morning right now, so they don't got sun, but about 10 o'clock, all of this will be in sun for about four or five hours, So, and they're doing really good. Okay, this blue bucket here, last night I planted watermelon, not watermelon, pumpkin, so they'll take a while to come up. Um, here we have my watermelon. Look at them. Little baby plants coming up. I think they'll do good. This will be my first year of growing watermelon too, so we'll find out. And these two plant things down here, I've got carrots. I just planted those last night, so we'll see how they do. I've never planted carrots before either, so it's a first for me. In this green container, I have beets. Now, me and my husband are the only ones in the house that like beets, so I never planted them before. But I decided, you know what? I like beets. I'm going to grow some. So. They're all coming up, and when they get bigger, I'll thin them out. No problem there. And then uh, here we have my zucchini. Now, I'll probably have to thin them out, but right now, look how big they are. And they haven't been in the ground, in the dirt that long. Okay, let's go over here. Oops, sorry. Uh, lettuce. We're growing lettuce this year. So, you know, it's doing pretty good, too. This right here, that's where I had extra, oops, excuse me, let me go around here. Uh, this is where I had extra tomato plants, and I thought I'd give it a try. We'll see what happens. And there's where the extra pepper plants are, so we'll see how that does. Down here, I have parsley. My husband wanted parsley. I'll zoom in so you can see. Um, they're coming up really good. I'll probably have to uh, thin those out too later on, but look how good they're doing. I'm really happy with my container garden. It's the first year we did this, so we'll see. Okay, all the way down here, 
all down is potatoes and they're just doing so good look how big they are I might plant more potatoes next year if they do as good as I think they're going to do okay and there's some more tomato plants those I think are romas the little round oblong ones we'll see how they do and they're all my tomato plant, potato plants so good so good and this uh, down here there is cantaloupe none of them is coming up yet so we'll see what happens I might have to plant some more I don't know they've been in there a while and I haven't seen no sign of life here I got extra strawberries I went to the uh, greenhouse and I bought 50 bare roots of strawberries this year because I wanted to plant strawberries and these are extra ones that I've got and I'm waiting on some containers to come in so I can get them planted and uh, planted more uh, marigolds I want to have a lot of flowers to attract bees and here's more um, the extra strawberries I'll show you the strawberries I do have planted here in a second okay down in this fence here this was a uh, an old cucumber bed before I decided to move the cucumbers out to the big garden. I decided to plant grapes this year. This be the first year. Look, they're doing good too. Now these are all purple grapes because my granddaughter loves purple grapes. So I had her in mind when we decided to do this. So a few years I'll have grapes. How about Since that? This fence here, we've got um, blackberry plants. I got starch for my mom's um, blackberries that she had growing behind the old shed. Uh, they're starting to, they're blooming this year so I should have blackberries well, hopefully eventually I'll be all across this fence and I already talked to my neighbor I said anything on his side he can have so he's okay with it we got good neighbors here so yeah see look at all these big blooms I'm gonna have blackberries and this is thornless well I really like that because usually me and my sister go out to the country and we pick blackberries and you get have to wear heavy clothes in the heat Makes you real hot. But that's my blackberry patch I'm going to have. Here, we bought two apple trees this year. We uh, had a storm a few years ago, knocked out a lot of trees. So instead of uh, the big shade trees like that one there, we decided we was going to plant a couple, some fruit trees. So there's two apple trees here. And uh, there's my dog. Say hello, Charlie. Charlie, hello. Hello, Charlie. Yes, it's my puppy. How's my puppy doing today? Uh, look out that way. Those are my two peach trees. Now, they were full of blooms this year. And I thought, you know, we're going to get a good peach tree uh, harvest this year, like we did a couple years ago. But then a big old wind came and blew all the blooms off of it. And I was kind of disappointed. We, there's a few peaches up there high, but. I'm going to end up having to buy some, and that was not the point when I planted the trees, but it is what it is. Okay, here is my strawberries, most of my strawberries that I bought from the greenhouse. I put them in this vertical planter that I got off Amazon. I liked it so much that I went online and researched. Now, I can't afford the $200 ones right now, but maybe later on I can, um, so I ordered some from Dollar Tree. They had them 50% off, so I've got two cases coming. So I can plant a lot of my herbs and stuff that I haven't got out yet. I'm just waiting for them to come in. But that's my strawberries. These here I bought. The top one, I bought those at Menards before I decided to plant a bunch of them. But they're doing really good. See, look at that. I won't get no strawberries this year, but next year I'll have strawberries. Okay. And there's some of my marigolds that I've started in the green, in the shed out there. Those will be, I'm going to use these out to the garden later on. Have them sitting around in the garden to attract bees for my vegetables. But there you have it. That's my garden so forth. Tell me what you think. Have a good day. Bye-bye.